Greetings YouTube, this is Cool Dude Clem here, also known as the 8-Bit Guy. And today I'm going to show you how to make your own chip music. Now there's three things you're going to need. You're going to need Mod Plug Tracker, Open Mod Plug Tracker or the original, it doesn't matter, they're both free. You'll also need Notepad, and this comes with any Windows PC, so you should be good for that. And Ace of Wave. Now Ace of Wave isn't free, but you can get the demo version, which is what I'm going to use. So, this is all completely free. So, let's get started. Firstly, I'm going to show you how to make sounds with just Ace of Wave alone. Now, in the Synthesis tab, you've got five little things here. You've got Draw Wave, Additive Synth, Analog Synth, FM Synth, and Car Plus Strong. If you want to make simple chip sounds, go into Analog Synth and right-click it so you get the settings. Now, it's always best to select Mono, 16 bits, 44 kilohertz. You can select 8 bits if you want, but 16 bits gives you a clearer sound and this is the analog synth you've got two oscillators now we're just going to use oscillator 1 so I've turned the mix all the way over to oscillator 1 I've put the gain to 50 because these do come out pretty loud so best to limit the gain to 0.50 now I've got sine wave selected so if I click OK there is a sine wave it doesn't really look like a sine wave because it's zoomed out quite a lot but if I zoom it in a bit no, oh, wrong zoom, I selected a vertical zoom, I meant to select horizontal zoom. You can see that there is a perfect sine wave. And we can play that, and there it is, perfect sine wave. You can also make square waves and sawtooth waves and things like that with this. So I'm going to select square wave. Now if you want to select a um, whatever note you want it to play, you can do it on this little piano thing here. You can also select whether you want it twice as high or twice as low, or you could simply type in the frequency you want it to play in there. So I'm just going to click OK, and there is the square wave. And of course you can save it and put it into your mod plug tracker and do things with it. But now let's go into things a little bit more complicated. So now I'm going to show you how to make sounds with Notepad. Now what I'm going to do first is I'm going to type in 24 spaces. Now I'm going to type in 24 Z's, or 24 Z's, depending on how you say it. Now I'm going to save this as square. So I'll just type in... And there's the um, file that I just made. Now I'm going to put that into Mod Tracker. So open up the samples window. And drag that into there. Now it'll bring up this little unknown file type thing. So just leave it as 8-bit unsigned mono. And there is the text file put into Modplug Tracker. Now if I set this as the loop and play it, you can hear that that is a perfect square wave. So now you know how to make a square wave sound with Notepad. Now I'm going to replace some of these Z's with spaces and see what else we get. Okay, so this has got 12 more spaces and 12 less Z's. So I'm going to save that now as square 2. Now I'm going to bring it into Modplug Tracker. So, bring up my documents and then just drag it in. Again, leave those as they are. And there it is. Now I'm going to set that as the loop. Make sure loop is turned on. And let's hear what this sounds like. Now that's alright, but there is one little problem. As you may have noticed, these are not centred. It should be sitting on the centre line, which is here, and as you can see, it is way below down here. So we need to do something about that. And that's pretty easy to fix. Simply save it as a WAV file in Modplug Tracker. And this is where Ace of comes into this. So, you load up Ace of Wave, which I've already got it loaded. Select the Amplitude tab, and then we can bring in the file. There it is, square 2, and there it is in Ace of Wave. Now just right click on Offset, make sure Center Extrema is selected, and it's now put that wave onto the center line, so you can then save it, and clear it out of Ace of Wave, and load it back into Modplug Tracker. And as you can see, it's now perfectly centered, and then you can maximize it and... Um, do what you want with it. Of course it's not just square waves you're limited to. You can do any kind of waveform you want with this. If you want to make a sawtooth wave, 
type in this. Two of each letter going from A to Z, then save. Now I'm going to save that as saw. I'm going to put that into Mod Plug Tracker. Set it as the loop and play it. And there is a sawtooth wave. You can create triangle waves as well. So I'm going to show you how to make one of those now. Type in A to Z. Now when you've typed in that, you type in Y to A. Now one thing that I haven't mentioned, which I think I should mention, is you don't want to press return or enter at the end. Because if you do, it will mess up the waveform. Now I'm going to save this as bad triangle. Now I'll delete what I pressed return and save this one as good triangle just to show you what would happen. Now load in bad triangle and as you can see there is a little bit of a crazy dip right here and that's where the enter button was pressed so it makes the waveform completely wrong as you can hear. Now I'll load in the um, other one where I deleted the bit where I pressed in where I pressed enter, which is called good triangle. Now as you can see that dip is gone, so I'll set the wave, I mean set the loop. And there's the triangle wave. You can maximize it in mod plug tracker, but you know it won't. It'll do that. Okay, so to maximize your triangle wave or your sawtooth wave, you do exactly the same as before. So I just load it into Mod Plug Tracker, leave those things as they are, save it as a wave, then load it up into Ace of Wave. I'm just going to drag and drop it. There it is, good triangle dot wave. Click on the offset button, and there it is. You can then save it, then bring it back into Mod Plug Tracker. And you can maximize it, set the loop, and there it is, absolutely perfect. Of course you can be creative with what you make, Don't not just limited to saw waves and triangles and squares and whatnot, you can type in anything really. So I'm going to experiment here, I'm going to type in a few Z's, a few spaces, a few more Z's. Okay, so some Z's and some spaces. Now I'm going to save that. I don't know what kind of what kind of a sound that's going to make, so I'm just going to put in Dunno for now. Now let's put that into Mod Plug Tracker and see what it sounds like. Now I'll set it as loop. Let's hear what it sounds like. It sounds a bit Atari-like, actually. Yep, you can make some pretty interesting sounds. I'm going to go into this. I'll show you how to make a NES style triangle wave now. If you type in A to Q, then type in P to A. I'm just going to save that as NES. You know, do the usual with it. Bring it into Mod Plug Tracker and save it as a wave. Now I'll open that in Ace of Wave like before. I'm just going to drag and drop it because it's quicker than hunting for it. Of course, center it, resave it. Or better clear it out of Ace of Wave or it won't load into Mod Plug Tracker. So there's the new, well, the old, well, the fixed file. Now I'm just going to maximize that. Set it as a loop. And let's hear what we have. Okay, let's play it low. Yep, that sounds very NES-like to me. And that's my little tutorial on how to make sounds with Notepad. And stay tuned because I'm going to make some more tutorials on how to do chip music. So, until then, goodbye.